good morning children welcome to the class so in the last class we have discussed the exercise 3a and today we will be discussing the exercise 3b and exercise 3b is based on the addition of integers and we have already discussed how do we add integers so we will be starting with our exercise 3b page 58 so children here in exercise 3b you have write true or false so children question number one you will be doing in your textbook question number two you won't be doing it will not come in your examination question number five and question number six and seven and the mcqs that you have you will also be doing them in your textbook only so which questions you will be doing in your textbook question number one question number five six and mcq seven eight nine ten okay and the remaining question two we won't be discussing because it is not for your examination point of view so the questions that you will be doing in your notebook only will be question number three four now the first question that we have is write t for true and t for true and f for false the sum of two negative integers is always a positive integer so children if you look here minus 3 minus 5 what do we get minus 8 so minus 8 is a negative integer the first statement is false put a f there the sum of three different integers can never be zero so children sum of three different integers hmm? three different integers can never be zero so it means it it is trying to say that three different integers ka sum kabhi bhi zero nahi ho sakta. Let us see. Minus three plus three and uh, let's change it up a little. Minus three two plus one. So minus three plus two plus one will become three and this will be equal to zero. So here three different integers we have minus three, two and one and there sum is 0 so again second part is your false question number 3 part number 3 minus 5 plus plus 2 equals to 5 plus minus 8 let us check 5 minus 5 plus plus 2 okay plus 5 plus minus 8 okay so if you check 5 2 5 8 so minus 5 plus 2 the answer will be minus 3 and here 5 minus 8 will be minus 3 so yes this is true okay fourth part when an integer is added to itself the sum is always greater than the integer when an integer is added to itself the sum is always greater than the integer so children this would be false if minus 27 plus blank and plus 11 then if you put 38 there the answer would be 11 so let us check minus 27 hmm? and plus here we put 38 the answer would be 11 so yes this is true okay question number two you won't be doing so now you have question number three add the following using a number line so you won't be using a number line you will simply be adding them so plus three plus minus six so this number its absolute value is six its absolute value is three so the difference in absolute value is three and six has is uh, its absolute value is greater so its negative sign will be taken so the answer would be minus three if we look in the second part of this question only huh minus 2 plus plus 8 so minus 2 plus 8 so 8 minus 2 is 6 so answer would be 6 in this question you will be doing the question number 3 4 5 6 in your rough registers uh, let me discuss the sixth one with you and you will be doing the sixth one also in your fair notebook minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 4 
here children minus 1 minus 2 will be minus 3 and this plus minus will be minus 4 huh minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 huh so this will be minus 7 children okay so in this question question number 3 you will be doing the question number 3 may 1 2 and 6th part in your fair notebook and uh, 3 4 5 in your rough registers add now in the fourth question that you have simply the same thing you need to add the following integers the same way that we did in the question number 3 so in this fourth part children you will be doing in your fair registers fourth part seventh and ninth and third first seventh ninth in your fair notebook and the rest you will be doing in your practice notebook simple addition children question number five and here fill in the blanks with the correct integer to make each statement true so the first part that we have plus three plus blank equals to minus 2 so what can we put here to get the answer minus 2 so children what we'll do we will put x here so 3 plus x equals to minus 2 so x equals to minus 2 and this 3 with positive sign if this will go to the right of the equal to then this plus will become minus and this will be minus 5 so x equals to minus 5 so here we will put minus 5 okay second part we will look into the third part now plus 27 plus x equals to plus 16 so what will we do here x 16 this 27 will, will go here so it will become minus 27 and the answer will be minus 11 so here we will put minus 11 okay now question number six you will be doing this one also in your textbook only Question number six, first part, plus seven plus minus four, blank, minus nine plus two. So simply solve, solve. plus seven minus four will be three, blank, minus nine plus two will be minus seven. So three is greater than minus seven, children. Huh? If you look in the fifth part, 25 minus 12, it will be 13. And here in this minus 29, plus 40 it will be 11 so 13 is greater than 11 hmm? if you look in the sixth part 7 minus 4 it will be 3 and 3 minus 2 it will be 1 and to the left side minus 5 plus 17 it will be 12 and 12 minus 9 will be, will be 3 so 1 blank 3 so 3 is greater than 1 children or 1 is smaller than 3 simple Question number seven, first part. So question number seven, MCQ. Again, you will be doing in your textbook. So just simply solve five minus 19 minus 11 plus seven plus 18. And when you will add, the answer will come out to be zero. Which of the following sums is the least? Minus 10 plus minus six, minus 13 plus eight. So minus 10 minus six will be minus 16. Minus 13 plus eight will be five. 16 minus 25 will be minus 11 uh, minus 9 sorry and d is minus 11 plus 13 it will be 2 so a is the correct answer question number sign 9 scores in golf can be positive or negative numbers for example a score of 5 over per par can be represented by plus 5 and a score of 4 under par can be represented by minus 4 if Ronnie had scores of 1 over power 4 
under par and three under par children and this type of question is based on number line so you won't be doing question number nine and now coming to question number 10 the temperature on a february morning is minus six degrees celsius at 6 a.m if the temperature drops down three degrees by 7 a.m rises four degree between 7 a.m and 8 a.m and then drops seven degrees between 7 a.m uh, between 8 a.m and 9 a.m find the temperature at 9 a.m so children originally the temperature was minus 6 at 6 a.m if it drops 3 degrees by 7 a.m so drop means that means it is decreasing more so minus 6 will become minus 9 rises 4 degrees between 7 and 8 a.m so minus 9 plus 4 it still be minus 5 and drops 7 degrees again huh so we had minus 5 already now it is 7 degrees again so minus 5 minus 7 it will be minus 12 so the answer is children b minus 12 degree celsius thank you children and uh, the questions that i have told you question number three four you will be doing in your fair notebooks question number one question number five question number six seven eight nine ten nine you won't be doing uh, question number two and nine you won't be doing but in your textbook you will be doing one uh, one five six seven eight nine ten uh, eight ten two and nine it, it is not in your syllabus children thank you class